All right, moving on into this series. Um, quick, quick recap on the first lesson. Here we talked about variables and uh, the echo statement, and how to um, or how variables are read, um, or how PHP, for that matter, is read. Um, whereas uh, the color red will apply here, but then for the rest of the document, it's going to be green. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and uh, watch lesson one. Now on to lesson two. Let's go ahead and we're going to make some PHP tag here. We're going to talk about another type of variable, um, which is called an array. And if you know anything about databases, but you don't know anything about the term array, you can think of an array as a very, very simple database. Uh, it's a way to store multiple values within multiple or within the same variable name using keys. So we're going to create a simple array here. And the first type of array we're going to create is a, an, a numeric array where the key is uh, a number. And if you don't understand the concept of a key, uh, you should be able to get that before we're done here. And what we're going to do is we're going to give the array a name. And we're going to run the array function here. And we'll get into functions a little bit later. Um, and defining functions, that is. But uh, for now, just uh, bear with me here. The name of the function is array. And what it's going to do is it's going to build a an array based on the parameters we give it. And all functions have two parts um, of the name. The function name and then the parentheses here for parameters. If there aren't any parameters, then the parentheses just stay as they are. But this also tells um, PHP that this is a function. And what we're going to do in here is give values to the array. So the first um, value we'll give is a string, and we'll call this apple. And we'll do a comma to separate the next, uh, the first one from the next one. And we'll call this one orange. And we'll do peach, and then that's good. So what we've done is we've created an array. And this array has three values, which are separated by keys. And by default here, it's going to create this array with numeric keys. And how we access this array, um, we can do so by doing this. We can say echo my array. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do two square brackets here. And within these square brackets, we're going to put the numeric key associated with our value. Um, so apple would be 1, orange would be 2, and peach would be 3. So if we say echo 2, and we save and upload this, there you go. It spit out the value of the array key two. Now, uh, an another thing we could do is we can we can add to this array, and we can say my array key four, which doesn't exist yet equals banana. So if we go ahead and echo my array key 4, we should get orange and banana. Save and upload. There you go. Now, of course, these are 
butting up right next to each other because there's no HTML um, in here or space to tell it to do otherwise. So let's come back over here. Um, another way to do this would be we can say my array. And just leave this empty. And say Kiwi. And what this is going to do is it's automatically going to generate another key, um, which would be five, um, and add Kiwi. And to test this, let's go ahead and echo this. Echo key five. Save and upload. Refresh, and there you have it. Now what we could also do is let's copy this echo statement on line 12 here and paste it down be below here. Um, like in our previous lesson where I explained a little bit on how PHP reads the page, um, we can go ahead and redefine um, the oh, any one of these keys that we want. So let's go ahead and redefine key 2. So we're going to redefine the second key as pair instead of orange. And then echo that again here. So save and upload. And refresh. There you have it. So the value peach stays true in the beginning, but as the page goes on, we re we gave the uh, key to the value of pair instead. Um, arrays are useful in many, many situations. Um, this example might be uh, kind of lame, but as you get into more advanced PHP, you'll kind of see why these are useful and, and why you will use them. Um, they're especially useful when, when working with databases and trying to res retrieve the results and do something with them. Um, the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you what you can't do, and that is you cannot treat this array as a single value variable. So if you tried to echo my array just as that, um, you're going to have an issue. Uh, we're going to save and upload, and there you have it. It doesn't know what to do, so it just spits out to the screen that this is an array. Uh, basically telling you that you know you didn't do this right so that will not work and now in the uh, next part we're going to get into some some more useful basics in PHP